everyone, and welcome to a cozy long play. Today we're going to explore the Terralith mod and build a cozy cottage in a fantasy-like meadow. We have a really fun adventure today with lots of new things to see, so let's get started. So, we're starting off our adventure today in the taiga biome. However, you may have noticed things look a little bit different around here. That's because we're going to be using the Terralith mod today, and essentially what this mod does is it basically regenerates biomes based off of vanilla blocks. So everything you see down here is vanilla, it's just been redistributed in a way that it makes all of these biomes look different. I've used this mod pack before in a couple of one-off uh, videos that I've done, and honestly, it is actually so, so stunning. This mod pack has honestly tons of different biomes, different types of terrain generation. We're probably barely going to scratch the surface with today's long play, but that's okay because we can always do more with this mod pack if you're all interested. So we're going to be exploring to see what this mod pack has to offer today. And I think the best way to begin is to punch a tree so we can kind of get started on our adventure. This one doesn't look too tall, so I think I'm going to start off with this guy. And let's start gathering up some wood to make some basic tools. All right, let's get a crafting bench going. And with this, I am going to make probably just a pickaxe for now. Let's see if there's some stone around here. We are close to some mountains, so... Ah, yes, perfect. This looks like a little bit of a, a pit, but I think we can get, get out of it if we need to. Let's just dig across like this. Perfect. So yeah, like I was saying before, I have played in this mod pack before, but since the new update, I'm sure there's new biomes I have yet to see. And also the times that I played it, I think I stuck to only a couple of biomes, so I didn't get to see that much. Plus, I didn't really do much cave exploration. So I'm super excited to take a look around and see what's around the spot I chose today. You may have noticed that my cords aren't exactly at zero and zero. That's basically because I just kind of TP'd to a spot that I thought looked interesting. And those mountainous hot spring looking things are kind of what caught my eye. And of course, I'll post the seed and coordinates in the description for you all. All right, we've got all of our materials. So let's make all of our basic tools. Let's get a pickaxe going. We'll get an axe. Gotta get a shovel, of course. And finally, oh, I need more sticks. Let's get a sword because we are playing in survival after all. So we are going to have to defend ourselves. And I think that's a pretty good start for us. Oh, also, I just heard a sheep. <gasps> Where are you? There you are. Oh, no, there's only one. I'm sorry, sheep. I am definitely going to need a bed so we can sleep because, of course, there's going to be some mob spawning. So we've got one wool so far. I am going to have to find another one, though. Hello, sheep. Are there any around here? Any sheep? So we're going to begin our adventure today by gathering up some of the basic materials. Um, we're going to need a lot of wood, some stone, some coal, and definitely some food. Now we've got one wool sorted for us, so that's good, but... We need three to make a bed, so we're going to have to find another sheep around here. I say what we do is we just start our exploration, and if we come across a sheep, that's great, but we'll just keep moving forward. Now, there are some pigs over here, and I think I might have to kill the pigs for some food as well. I'm sorry, buddies. I'm so sorry. Oh, I hear a zombie. And some spiders running around. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of pigs around here. Oh no, he's getting hurt by the berries. Me too, buddy. Me too. Okay, I think after this we're going to be pretty set for food. So that's good. Oh! Sheep? Oh, sheep! Lots of them. Yes! Okay, perfect! You saved me, sheep. 
You saved me. You have no idea. Amazing. Okay. We can get our bed. So now I am no longer worried about that. And that means we're pretty much free to explore and do whatever. So it looks like there's a river running through here. I say we grab a boat and just kind of start swimming around and see what's uh what's around. But if we're going to get a boat, we need a little bit more wood. And this tree seems to go pretty high, so I'm going to have to pillar up to get the rest of this. Don't want to leave any uh any half-cut trees around. All right, let's craft ourselves our boat. Get some planks. Get a good old spruce boat. And let's see what's around. I do see some azalea trees, which makes me think there's probably a lush cave underneath somewhere. Which is great because I love building with moss. I love uh, the spore blossoms. And I just like exploring lush caves in general. I think that has been one of my favorite additions to Minecraft is lush caves. They are just so stunning. The um the other ones, the dripstone caves are really cool too, but there's just something so magical about lush caves, honestly. So many pigs. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to need lots of food today cuz we're going to be doing some major adventures, so might as well keep stacking up the food if we can. Whoa, look at that. So many cows. Oh my. <gasps> Ooh. Also, this coal would probably help out as well. I do hear some Endermen, but it sounds like they're kind of below me, so we should be fine. Definitely doesn't hurt to grab some coal. I always say that's like a pretty essential starter resource. <gasps> Ooh. Looks like we hit some lush cave. And I'm going to make some torches so we can just kind of take a little peek to see what's down there. Might not do some, like, big cave exploration yet. Oh. There's, uh, there's some friends over here. Hello? Oh, oh no. Whoops. Honestly, I kind of just let that happen. Usually, I've gotten to the point where I just let creepers just explode. As long as I'm, I'm far away from the blast that it doesn't hurt me too bad. I, ah, I just let it happen. Oh no. Oh. He's gone. He just keeps taking fall damage. Nothing I could do to help him there. All right. Um, That did do a little bit more damage than I anticipated, though. So I think the best thing to do is probably, probably just cook up some of this food now. We're going to need a furnace. And I do not have any coal. I spent it all on my lovely torches. But that's okay. We'll get some food going. Would be nice if I could see some iron, but there's no guarantee that there's any around here. Maybe I could pillar across? Let's see. We can kind of tunnel if we need to. Let me grab some of this food first. There we go. There we go. We're set. We're set. Just want to take a little peek. I don't think I'm going to go down there just yet, but we can go across here see what's up. See if there's anything that we need. And it looks kind of like a dead end. So let's just head back over this way. And I say we keep exploring. We've got three cooked food, and I think that, that should be enough. That should be enough. All right, let's carry on. Ow. <laughs> oh, I'm always taking fall damage. It's it's a classic. It is a classic for me to take fall damage. All right, let's let's go on this way. See what's around. <gasps> oh. What is that? What are these trees? Okay. Let's let's sleep really quickly and investigate this. So, the cool thing about Terralith is I kind of mentioned before that it's all vanilla blocks. However, there will be some biomes where the color 
of like the leaves and sometimes like the terrain is a little bit altered. So each biome will be a little bit different. As you can see, the oak trees have purple leaves, but they are also made of dark oak. So it makes it a little bit easier in some ways to gather some resources because um, the trees kind of generate differently. I think if you replant them in the biome, though, they will replant as like a normal dark oak tree, like if you were to put down a sapling. So you do have to be kind of careful of that. But I'm pretty sure um, we'll have to test it later. If I were to shear this oak, these oak leaves and replace them somewhere else, when you place them down the next time, they would be purple as long as they're within this biome. So this is one of the biomes that I'm talking about that has just slightly different generation and it looks so cool. Oh, I love this. This would be kind of a cool area to build in. I'm kind of looking to maybe build a little bit fantasy style today. So this could be a really nice option. We've also got ourselves some mossy cobble, which would be handy for building. But let's see what else is around here, because that was a little bit of a small area. <gasps> There's more over here, though. We've also got what looks like giant, like almost pine trees, but you can see they're made out of acacia. Yeah, these are all acacia blocks, which is so cool. And same with these uh, spruce trees. It's just been replaced with stripped spruce. It is so simple, but also so stunning. Honestly, I love this mod pack so much. Oh, look at this area. Now this looks really cool. Ooh. So we've got the acacia trees I was talking about. Same with the spruce. I'm really digging this. Really digging this. Also have some nether blocks too. That's really cool. But this one, oh wow, oh, oh, oh. Cool. Okay, so the terrain here is all purple instead. We don't have the purple trees. Well, we do have a couple over here. I think that's a different biome. You can see the color of the grass is a bit different. But look at this. Oh, this is stunning. I feel like building something a little bit fantasy style would be really cool. Somewhere maybe even around here. I would I would definitely be down for that. There's so much to explore in this mod pack. Honestly, there's so many different types of terrain that I don't think we're going to get to all of them today, unfortunately, as much as I would love to. Um, but I would I would definitely be open to doing more Terralith uh, builds for sure, because I, I don't know. I think building in this would be very, very stunning today. Very, very stunning. What is all of this over here? Look at that birch tree. Look at the way that's generated. That's so cool. Oh, and we've got some cherry uh, cherry blossoms mixed in here as well with what looks like, I think that might be like jungle leaves with dark oak bases. That is so cool. It's a very like messy looking forest, but it's very, very fantasy like. Oh, this is so neat. Even, oh, oh my gosh. Well, it's a little bit unsafe in here, I guess, because it's so dark that mobs can probably spawn as well. Jeez. Oh yeah, there's a couple skellies in here. Oh my gosh, he's like running at me. Dude, settle down. Jeez. Oh my god, more. I wonder if this is technically like a dark forest or something. It could be that. Oh my. So there are some, um, some friends we've got to worry about. Oh no, a zombie too. That is okay though. I can, I can lay a couple torches here. Just a couple. Good thing I cooked all this food. But like, even look at these trees. Okay, I think I hear more mobs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swim over really quickly. These trees look super cool. I guess it's probably because there's two different biomes that are kind of beside each other. So the trees that are on the border of each one are kind of, they have this like really cool looking gradient to them. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, I feel like we should build uh, somewhere in this area and kind of do like a little fantasy build today. I think that would be really fun. All right, I'm going to go back to 
the forest with all of the purple ground. I think I like that the best. It looks like a very magical, um, fantasy-like forest. Even though the trees around it are very simple, I think I like that, though. Having, like, a different colored terrain with all these really cool flowers, and then having these, like, really stunning tall trees. So if we're going to kind of look towards building in this area, though, we're going to have to find a cave as well. I think what I should do is maybe pick out a spot just to have a little home base so we can easily go back to it. And I kind of torch this area. I feel like this might be nice. This little area right here could be easy. Um, we just need to make sure we can easily see it, but we're close to some water, which is good. Did I leave my boat here? I don't know if I did. I must have. Oh wait, yeah, the boat's right there. So we're, we have easy access to water. Looks like, no, that's not a cave. But it looks like we have enough stuff around us to survive. There's lots of animals. So I'm just going to pop down a couple of things just so we don't have to worry. And let's make a little chest as well. Then I would say we should probably do some exploration because right now we don't really have much of anything, if I'm honest. So we're definitely going to have to um, see what's around us and gather up some useful materials like iron. Um, I would definitely like some more wood, but I think that will be pretty easy to get to, especially because we're going to have to chop all of this down to make space for um, our builds today. So we don't really have to worry about that. In the meantime, I am going to burn up a bunch of this food as well. Yeah, I think this is going to be really, really cute. All right, I think we're pretty much here. Let me tuck away this food as well and put this here. All right, and while I wait for some of this food, let's start chopping down a couple of trees. The problem is these are big boys. <laughs> so we're going to have to kind of pillar up to some of them as well. I think the best way for me to do this is maybe even pillar up with dirt. I, I don't know. Maybe make some like little little dirt dirt columns to get up a little bit higher than we can. That's not even going to work. I'm going to need to make a bit of a staircase, so I'm going to need to grab some of this over here. That's going to be the one drawback to building in this area is the very tall trees, but I think we can figure it out. I think we'll be okay. All right. Up to about here should be fine. Then we can reach up. You know, this feels a little bit inefficient, but I feel like this could also work if we had moss. Because that stuff breaks a lot easier than dirt. But for now, chopping the trees and just pillaring up with the logs and then breaking them again might be the better answer. I don't know. I feel like maybe this was a little bit more efficient. I was trying to overcomplicate things, you know? You end up losing some durability on your axe, but hey, it's all right. The one good thing about this, though, is these blocks are usually kind of hard to come by. We're getting full acacia wood out of this instead of the logs. And that's pretty, that's usually a pretty expensive material, like the full pieces of wood rather than logs. So that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to toss some of these flowers aside. I just really needed some wood for some sticks and other things for when we are exploring. And I think now that we're pretty much done i think we should go explore some caves or something we've got our bed we've got a little bit of food and let's just see what's what's around because we're gonna need some stuff from the caves we're gonna need a bunch of iron uh we're gonna need some coal probably some stone to build with always using granite so it is definitely time for a little bit of an adventure let's see what's out here now, are there any proper cave openings? These all kind of seem to be waterlogged. Oh, no, there's some coal here though that we can grab. That would be handy. Definitely gonna need lots of this today. The sun is kind of setting. Also, I forgot, I have the world map 
right now. I installed it on this uh, instance because I didn't know exactly how far we would be going today and how much exploring we would do. So this thing, if you're not familiar with it, Zero's world map and mini map, it is super handy to have. So let's say we want to mark this area as our home. I can set this as a waypoint and we can set it as home uh, and we can make it local, global, world map local. So that means it will be here on the map, but it won't show in our mini map that's on the left. Uh, I, I kind of prefer having that unless I, I'm having trouble finding my way home, then a marker will show on the screen and on the mini map. It's very, very useful. So we may as well use it and mark our home just in case we get lost today. All right, <laughs> let's actually go on an adventure now because I was like, let's leave. And then I promptly went back to the base. So I did see some azalea trees around, which leads me to believe that there's also a lush cave around here as well. If we can find it though, that's a thing. Having a little bit of trouble finding an opening, unless this looks promising. Looks like it could be a very large opening to a cave. Oh yeah, we are set. We are set. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, that's a little frightening. Let's see what we got here. We got lots of coal. Okay. Oh, iron. Amazing. Okay, we are set. We are set. Having a good cave to explore nearby your base is honestly essential. They're usually pretty abundant with all of the resources that you need for all of the starter items, like the coal, the iron, lots of cobble. And it's nice to have a place that you can just run back down to in a pinch if you need some more of these resources while you're building. So I'm glad this one's relatively close to us. And I don't know if it's just me. I'm I'm a big cave exploration gal. I love it. It's it is my favorite. It's I, I find it weirdly relaxing in some ways. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy cave exploration as well, because I personally find it very entertaining. We are going to have a full inventory with all this stuff we're collecting. Real full inventory with this stuff. Well, let me tell you. And let me grab some of this clay as well. <gasps> oh, look, we've got like the uh, the watercolor from the cherry biomes. It's so cute. I love it. It just looks so like warm and tropical. I just want to I want to dive into it, you know, okay, we don't really need we don't need lava, but I could use these glow berries. Is there anything beyond there? The passage looks a little bit too narrow, so I'm just going to turn around. All right, we're going to have to get down there now. This this is going to be fun. You know what? I'll probably just dig down and then. Yeah, I'm going to dig down and then pillar up because that looks very steep and I don't see any water fall off. Would be handy if we had a bucket, but I do not see one yet. Oh! I was literally, before I broke the moss, I was about to check to make sure there was something else underneath me, but it was too late. The moss was, the moss broke too quickly. <laughs> you know what? I can't believe I survived that. That only took like half my hearts away. I'm indestructible. I'm, I'm not, I'm not indestructible. That was terrifying. <laughs> oh. Fall damage drift. That should be my new nickname because I am constantly, constantly taking fall damage. It is, it is like a joke at this point, honestly. Oh, there's like no pockets of water to fall into. Watch, I'm going to get all the way down there and then I'm going to find this tunnel that leads directly to where my base is and it's going to be super easy to get to and from. It's not going to be a fall off or anything. Just a plain old cave entrance that was right there all along. All right, I'm going to make another crafting table because I forgot mine. And I am going to make some more pickaxes, probably like three. We're going to need quite a few. Hello, sir. Just going to slowly staircase down here. Don't mind me. Whoops. Whoops. 
Look at that. Perfect. Ouch. All right, let's see what this cave has to offer for us. I'm kind of hoping we get some type of different generation as well. That would be really cool. I know that the caves do generate a little bit differently in this mod pack. I don't think it's anything too drastic, but we might come across something cool. All right, let's see what else is around here. It looks like there's a little bit more of an opening over here. Whoa! Oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> you know we gotta go check that out. I would like this spore blossom too. Ooh. Very nice. Okay, if I break that, that'll fall. I can go get that when we're at the bottom. Probably doesn't hurt to grab this deep slate. Who knows? Maybe we could build with it. Also, I'm looking at that tough. There's a bunch of tough on this column here. I was just kind of thinking uh, when I saw the acacia wood, I'm like, those two would be very nice together um, as texturing. Maybe we could use that on our build today. That could be really neat. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Ooh, tough. Nice. Okay, I think maybe what I should do is I should probably um, get a furnace going really quickly. That way we can smelt some of this iron. I would like to grab an iron pick just in case. Plus it's a little bit faster. And I should probably make a couple more torches too afterwards. So we'll hang around this area while that stuff's burning up and see what else I can grab. Oh. Ouch. Oh, I don't want to hit that underman. Come on. Let's let's be smart about this, Skelly. Let's be smart about this. I just don't think either of us would want that. I really would like to get some shears too for this drip leaf. So we've got a couple things to make. All right, this inventory, because we are in the lush cave, is already kind of, it's in shambles. We can admit it. It is in shambles right now. Look at this. It's a mess. There's nothing we can do about it, though. That's just how it do be with the lush cave, honestly. I would like to grab as much iron as I can. Um, Honestly, not even necessarily for the tools. I mean, I would love to at least get an axe for today because we're going to be chopping a ton of wood. But we don't really necessarily have to worry about the other tools. I would like to grab enough iron to make just like lanterns and chains, pretty much decorational items. That's more so what I'll be using it for today. But I think we'll probably find a lot in here. It seems like there's lots of iron around. Just gotta look around a bit. Whoa, he's spinning. Look at, look at your fancy moves. Look at your fancy moves. Clearly not fancy enough, though. Oh, baby zombie. I'm on high alert. I can't see him through all this grass. Where is he? Is he hiding down there? Oh, no. There's some iron down there, too. Don't do this to me, Minecraft. Sounds like there's a couple. Oh, there is! What is this? Oh, he's, like, really trying to... Really trying to get me. Go away! Go away! Oh my gosh. This stone sword is useless against him, apparently. Okay, now the, just the whole entire gang's here. Everybody is coming to say hi. Oh no, there's a lot. There's a lot happening right there. Come on! There's so much iron down there, too. Honestly, I can handle the zombies. It's more so the skeleton. He's gonna hit me! He's got good aim! Oh, man. <laughs> the joys of Minecraft. <laughs> oh, he's spinning around, doing a trick. Just get over here. You too! Enough! Enough! Get! 
Get oh, the worst. Baby zombies are the worst mob. Any any day. I will I will always say that. They're just so quick and they're so hard to hit. It's ridiculous. All right, let's let's grab this iron. This is what we came down here for, so. <laughs> I hope uh during these long plays that it's it's still kind of fun to watch me struggle <laughs> to to kill some of these mobs. Uh. All right, we're hitting lots of iron, which is good. Oh, <gasps> glow squids. Oh, there's some ink over there. Nice. I'm going to grab that. Okay. All right, we're all good with all our items. Oh, as beautiful as all this is, I don't know if I want to explore it just yet. It's just very dark down there. There's going to be lots of mobs. I think we need to be a bit careful. Although I would like to grab some tough because I was I mentioned that idea that I had earlier about maybe combining that with the acacia in our build. So I think I would like to grab some of that. I'm pretty happy with the amount of iron we have right now. I wouldn't mind going down like a little bit later to grab some if we have to, but I'm not going to sweat it too much because I would like to start chopping down some of the trees around us, maybe start building some stuff. And then see what we can adventure with later. But let's grab a bunch of this. The texture of tough is so nice. I think it's one of my favorite textures. Also, the sound of it. That crunchy noise. So nice. I just don't really build with it that much. I use it on pathing from time to time, but it's very rare that I incorporate it into my builds. So I think we need to change that. All right, how do I get back up? Came from here. Oh, there it is, the dirt pillar. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's get back up to the surface and figure out what our build is going to be. I was trying to grab more clay, but of course, inventory very full. Uh, we don't need this beef jerky. Let's be real. Alrighty, let's go back up. I keep looking at walls and I'm like, oh, iron. And then I'm like, no, no, it's fine. We don't need to get it just yet. Also, the first thing that we need to make when we get back up there, a bucket. We, we are water bucketing down here. We're not, we're not doing this again. Okay, would it be so weird for me to sleep very quickly? I don't want to deal with mobs when I get back up. I'll just like, you know, drop the bed here. Here? Here? There we go. And just just go for a little nap, you know? Just a little one. Perfect. And up we go. Up we go. Oh, did I hit my head again? No, I didn't. Whew, fresh air. Look at that. All right, we are back. We are back. Please, I don't want to fall. Could you imagine? I fall all the way down. That would have been absolutely brutal. Okay, let's go back to our base. You know what's funny? I actually didn't gather up a bunch of coal either. So we are going to have to go back for some of that too. Um, that's used for a lot of decorative stuff like campfires, even our precious lanterns. Oh my gosh, I was like, what is that little thing? I was like, is that a baby spider? No, it's bunnies! <gasps> bunnies! Oh, look at them, they're so cute. Oh, we got a zombie. This is like an enchanted but cursed forest. So many, so many bad guys around here. Whee! All right, let's put some of this stuff away. So building materials will go in here. Uh, and then all of just the other stuff. You always need a junk chest. Always. 
And let's put our second furnace right here. And I'm going to start burning up some of this iron. All right, while that iron is burning, let's start chopping down some of these trees. We also kind of have to pick ourselves a spot, so I think we should chop down wherever we decide to build. Now, hmm, the sun is facing which direction? It's facing this way, so I think if we have the front of the build around here, the sun's always going to catch it. I always do consider that when I'm building things. Well, not always. It depends on the build. Um, like if I'm in a let's play world, there's at some point you're going to have to have things facing away from the sun. But if I can, I do take it into consideration. So this is like the perfect position for the sun. I would say probably around here, honestly, right where I placed all of this stuff looks like it would be nice because then we also don't have to worry about cutting down too many trees in front of us either because those are going to block the sun too. Now, these are some tall trees, so we have quite a bit of work ahead of us, but at least we're going to get a lot of resources out of them. And I think I can finally get rid of this dirt staircase that I attempted. That clearly didn't go well. All right, let's start chopping down some of these guys. Did I grab enough moss? Let's see. Let me go back into my inventory. I don't know if I did. Okay, I did grab some moss so we can easily scaffold. And food. We need some food. And I'm just going to use the stone axe until it pretty much just breaks. So because we're collecting a bunch of this acacia wood, we are definitely going to be building with it today. Absolutely. Once we have all our materials, we'll kind of like try to pair it with something to see what works. But I think the tuff that we grabbed from the caves should be should be good. It should complement it really well. And I might as well get ahead of the fact that my uh, axe is going to break because we don't we don't want it to break halfway through chopping down one of these trees. So I'm going to go ahead and make an iron one now just to speed this up a little bit. So while we're slowly working on chopping away at these big trees, let's talk about what we could build today. Now, of course, I mentioned that this biome feels very fantasy-like, but it also feels very quiet and mysterious to me. So I kind of had a picture in my head of building something like a lonesome cabin in the woods. Something that a traveler may stumble upon when they've spent days walking through a forest like this. And when they stumble upon this cabin, they see a chimney that's going, which indicates that somebody's in there. However, when they go inside, nobody is to be found, even though the cabin looks lived in. I feel like I dropped a pretty heavy story just now, but I don't know. I feel very inspired by this area, and I feel like a build like that would fit this biome perfectly. You know what? I forgot to shear some of these leaves. We are definitely going to need some of these today. So while I'm chopping these down, I need to remember to grab some. All right, what do we have so far? So we have a stack and a bit of acacia, which is a pretty good amount. Uh, I still have quite a bit to clear over here, and I probably am going to have to terraform some of this as well, just to give ourselves a little bit more room. But I think it's looking good so far. You can see that getting rid of some of the trees here have actually helped with the sun. There were quite a few blocking it. And now we have a little bit of a brighter area over here, which is good. Now I just need to clear the trees uh, in the spot that we're going to build and we're good to go. I don't know if this is entirely accurate, but this area is kind of giving me uh, the vibes of the movie The Dark Crystal. I don't know if anybody has ever seen that film before. I think it is. Oh, no, I just fell. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I, it's it's a little bit of an older film now. It is so good. I believe it was a Jim Henson film. Uh, it came out around the same time as Labyrinth, I believe. I don't remember much of it because it's been a very, very long time since I've seen it. But I don't know. When I see this biome, I kind of get the vibes of that movie. 
I should rewatch it though. I remember loving it uh, a long time ago. I remember kind of being a little bit terrified of it because I saw it when I was a kid. So of course it was a little bit scary, but also fantastic movie. I also do want to replant an acacia tree around here just to see how it grows. I do believe it just grows uh, as a normal acacia tree would. I don't think that the terrain generation, the way that Terralith is set up, that it would grow kind of like one of these. But I'm just kind of curious to see. So we're going to try that as well. Same with the spruce. The spruce would be pretty obvious too because it would it would spawn as strip spruce. All right, let's see. Let's plant just a couple over here. Maybe by these pumpkins, so I know that's where I put them. So one here and one here, and we'll check back to see if they grow later. I think they're going to grow normally, though. This moss has helped so much. If I had to do this with dirt scaffolding, I think it would have taken me twice as long. We're pretty much nearly done. I want to get rid of this cluster of trees, I think. I do have to be careful with how much I'm taking away, though, because I don't know if I can put it back in the same way that it is here. So, you know what? Actually, I think I might leave this cluster. I feel like this is a pretty good spot to stop. I don't think I want to get rid of these guys, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to terraform some of this and flatten it out a little bit, and then I can use this dirt to kind of fix up some of the rough patches around here. Oh, got to make another shovel really quickly and grab some of these fallen blocks because of course we cannot leave them behind i'm just going to check actually to see if those trees have grown yet let's see sapling's still there and sapling's still over there nothing yet all right let's treat ourselves to an iron shovel because why not you know if we grabbed all that iron we may as well use it we're probably going to have to go back down anyway to get some more coal and maybe some more iron for the lantern, so it is all good. Use the resources we have. The one thing that's a shame about terraforming some of this is I'm getting rid of these little amethyst clusters. There's not really much I can do because I don't have silk touch, so it's kind of a shame. I don't, that's another thing where if I bone meal this area, the one drawback is I don't think things like that are going to spawn. I think it's just going to be regular old grass and probably some of these ferns. So there's definitely a little bit of strategy involved when you're kind of working in some of these biomes. You definitely have to be a little bit careful with what you're choosing to get rid of because some of this stuff, you can't really easily bring it back. All right, that looks like a good amount of space, so now I am just going to fill in some of the back here. So let's go from about, oops, unfortunately got to break this guy too. So I'm going to attach to here and go all the way around to here. Might as well fill this in too, honestly.
Perfect. I think this is a pretty decent amount of space, actually. That's a lot to work with. Quite a bit. I think we could probably start the house around here, actually. And then we'll have plenty of space behind us just in case we need it. Okay, awesome. The one last thing I'm going to do is I think I might tear down maybe just a couple of these trees, too. And then we are absolutely good to go. So let's toss all of this stuff away really quickly. And then the leaves can probably go in here. So we're going to end up using a bunch of them today. Got our acacia wood. And wow, I did not grab a lot of uh, spruce. Not at all. This stuff, there isn't as much spruce, I find, in this area. So we might actually end up having to go to the taiga to quickly chop down some trees if we need more, though. All right, I say we go on a little bit of an adventure to grab the last remaining spruce that we need. We may as well, plus I am starting to run out of food and I don't see too many animals around here. So I'm going to go over to that forest that we found before. Actually, before we do that, I'll let me run back really quickly and grab my bed. That would be very, very helpful. Just in case we spend a little bit more time over there than we intended. And how is my axe doing? Okay, we might need another axe. I'm going to go stone, though. I don't want to use too much of my iron, although it is a lot quicker for me to um, be able to use the iron axe. It's, it's not worth completely depleting it. So I think I'm going to leave that for now. And let's also, before we leave, we got to clear our inventory space, of course. Of course, we got to make some room. And we got to reorganize our tools. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. That is looking good. All right, boat. Perfect. So let's head over to the taiga really quickly. I think I want to go spruce um, mixed with some of this acacia and tough. I feel like that would be a good palette. I'm going to double check. Ooh, also, you know what could be cool with the... Uh, the spruce and the acacia would be the sand. If we turned it into sandstone, that could be really nice with the palette we have in mind. I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself, though, so I, I need to calm down. I'm getting very excited. We're going to have to test all of these materials together, of course, before we start building, so, so we know it looks good. There's some taiga trees right here, though, like the big ones. This will definitely, definitely help us out. Okay. Oops, why am I breaking that with a shovel? Oh. It's just one of those days. Just one of those days. I feel like maybe one of these trees is going to get us exactly however much we need for spruce. I mean, if not, we can make another journey back here, but... I think we should be good. All right, that should be good. There is a lot going on right over there. There's just a lot happening, and I don't think there's anything I can do to stop it, unfortunately. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ooh! While we're here, since we're in a taiga, look at this. We've got some mossy cobble, which would probably look really great with our build. So let's collect some of this, too. Since we're in a very enchanted forest, and I mentioned earlier that I wanted it to be like an old, lonesome cabin, I feel like that would kind of fit the vibe, you know? Ooh, we got some materials over here, too. Would you look at that? Oh, iron as well. Amazing. Look at how lucky we're getting. Lucky us. We don't even have to go into a cave. Now, the only thing that we need to find uh, as well is some food. We need to find some animals around here. I'll take anything at this point. Chickens, cows, sheep. Whatever, just w what whatever will feed us is good. I am not picky. Oh, even more iron. Would you look at that? Nice. 
nice. And how much is this? 44. Okay, we can grab a little bit more than that. Might as well. I just keep uncovering little pockets of iron. Okay, I think that should be good. I'm gonna go over here really quickly and get some of this iron and coal. And then up here, ooh, look at this. <gasps> food. Floating. Floating food. Use our handy moss to help Get us over here. Whoops. Oh no, I'm sinking. Whoa, tropical fish, huh? Cool. This area is really neat. There's something about adventuring in like a new Minecraft world that is just so fun. It's honestly a big reason why I really do enjoy um doing these long plays as well. Oh my gosh, rogue zombie. Ooh, a carrot, thank you. But it is a big reason why I enjoy uh, doing the one-offs because I get to explore new seeds, see what's around. I also don't mind the process of starting from scratch, although it is really nice to have like a consistent world where you have everything at your disposal. It is also very fun to start a new adventure and see what you can build from minimal resources. I don't know. I like both styles of gameplay. I find it's uh, especially really fun to like mix things up every once in a while, too. But I also found that doing um doing the mini fall long play series was also very ideal because it gave us enough time to kind of flesh out a small base, get some tools that we need, all of that stuff. So I think uh, worlds like that, like very, very short term worlds can be very fun as well. If you all are interested in this Terralith mod, I would totally be open to doing a uh, a short term world with this mod. So let me know in the comments if you all would be open to that and I would totally love to give it another shot. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for exploration and some interesting styles of bases that we could do within this terrain. And a short term series would definitely give us the opportunity to really sink our teeth into this mod. Also, I'm going to shear some of these azalea leaves. Azalea leaves are always very nice to have. And I think, okay, what do we got so far? We have mossy cobblestone. We got some cobblestone. We have a stack and a bit of spruce, which I think is good. If we need more, we'll go back. The only thing that we're kind of missing is maybe a little bit of coal. I only got 11. So I can look around here a little bit longer if we need to. And then I think we're pretty much good with everything that we have. There are tons of cows around here. Oh my gosh. I think, yeah, this is the area I was in before. I remember this. I remember this. I'm going to head back this way a little bit because there's like little hilltops here. I'm wondering if some of them have coal on the sides. Sometimes they do generate like that. That looks to be like a lot of gravel over there. So that's no use to us. But over here we might be able to find something. Plus there's a lot more animals around here too. 
Is that like a giant opening to a cave? Nah. Okay, let's put our bed down. I think we're gonna have to sleep. It looks like there's... Yeah, that's like clay on the side of the mountain. That's wild. Don't really see any coal. We might have to go back down into that, uh... That cave we were in, to be honest. Might just have to do that. Whoa! Moss on the side here. Oh! <gasps> This is like an outdoor lush cave, huh? This is so cute. Oh, look at this entrance. Ooh. Oh, pretty. I know I'm getting distracted, but Oh, look, resources. No, this is this is a good distraction. Very good distraction. We are getting some stuff that we need out of it. Lots of coal over here, too. I want to take a little peek inside of this lush cave, too, because this one looks like it could be pretty cool. Perfect. All right. Is there anything else around here? This looks kind of surface level. Yeah, that's okay, though. This is very cute, though. Oh, a little entryway up here, perhaps. Looks like it. Oh, lots of, lots of mobs coming after me. There we go. No sweat, no sweat. Oh yeah, they're, they're pretty much everywhere. If I could just get to this corner though, I could grab a little bit of those resources. Get over here. Come on. There we go. Got a critical hit on him. That's helpful. All right, let's light this up a little bit so mobs don't sneak up on us. Ooh, lots of iron here. Oop, creeper. Gotta keep away from you. I'm kind of low hearts right now. <gasps> wow, I did pretty good there, I must say. Oh, there's another one. There is another one. You know what? I can't lie, this this cave seems a lot easier to navigate than the one we were in before. That one was kind of brutal. It was just getting in and out of- Oh! Oh my gosh! That scared me. I anticipated him popping up, but I wasn't ready for it. I hope that didn't frighten any of you watching, because that made my heart jump. But like I was saying, it was kind of just the- having to get in and out of that cave was a little bit of a pain. It was beautiful, no doubt, but just a little bit much. All right, I say we grab this iron and coal and then we kind of head on out of here and head back to our base because I think we have a good supply of everything we need to finally begin building. I know I said that when we were in the original cave, but there were still probably a couple things that we could have used, you know? So we did maintenance around the area for us to build, and now when we get back, it'll be a lot easier for us because we can just- we can just start throwing up this build. Okay. Grab that and just a couple of these as well. How much coal do we have? Okay, we don't really have a full stack yet, so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can here. It's a lot more resources in here than I anticipated, to be honest. <laughs> Getting pretty lucky. Not that it's a bad thing. Don't think it's ever a bad thing when you find more resources than you, than you needed. All right, can I jump over to this? Yes, I can. Perfect. And 
on our way out, let's grab a little bit more mossy moss. So we can easily scaffold, and I think we are good to go. Let's get out of here. Oh, more coal, though. Do I grab it? Do I grab just a little bit more? We will be thankful. We'll be thankful if we grab this, I think. Listen, I see a resource. I cannot leave a resource behind. It is very hard for me. Okay, now we're good. I promise. I promise. Oh, why'd all this gravel fall? Something must have happened here. Okay, let's get out of here, finally. So, we gotta go this way. I mean, worst case scenario, if we get lost, we still have our uh, marker on the map. So our home is over here. Very, very helpful, but I think I know, I think I know the way back. We just need to get our boat though. I left the boat along the shoreline somewhere over here. I believe. If not, I can just make another one. It's totally okay. It's totally okay. Why are there so many pigs around here too? So much food we're collecting. This is good, though. This is very good. I was a little bit worried that we'd have to um, potentially, like, farm a bunch of stuff in between, but I think we're totally set for food. My boat is probably somewhere along... There it is. I see it. We're relatively close to home now, though. So that is good. I just realized I've been running around with no armor whatsoever. I think we're doing okay regardless. It's just kind of funny because I have also, like, taken so much fall damage today and stuff. Oh, I should have- I probably should have died by now, to be honest. I think- I think I'm holding my own today. All right, home, sweet, home, just up ahead. So, of course, let's start off by starting to cook some of this meat that we have. And a little bit more of this iron. I got 43? <gasps> That's so much. Oh my gosh, I am impressed. That's awesome. Okay, let's put all of this stuff in here. Try to keep it as organized as we can so we can easily build with it. And all of this stuff can go in here too. Then we've got our little junk, but not junk chest, because we are going to be using a little bit of this, so. I already have a full chest. Oh my. I'm going to have to use some of this wood to make another chest, because that should probably be a double. We're going to be using a lot of resources today. So let's do this. Drop this in here. And then I think we're pretty much ready to go. Yeah. All right, it's getting dark, so it's going to be a little bit hard to kind of see what we're doing. I'm going to start torching this up anyway, though. Just so we can have a safe spot to start building. Oh, here we go. Okay, these trees did grow. So it is pretty much confirmed that if you replant a sapling in here, it's going to grow as a regular taiga tree. So we do have to be very careful with what we decide to take away in this area, which is pretty much what I thought. All right, we have one last torch. Let's just drop it here for now. And let's go to bed for the night. All right, with our spot picked out, I think we can kind of start thinking about what we're going to do for the build. Now, I mentioned I wanted to use this acacia wood and tough. And for this build, since I was talking about doing something very fantasy-like, I want to do a very steep roof meaning that most of the build is going to be roof. So I was kind of thinking about maybe using these two together for the rooftop. And I was also kind of thinking about sprinkling some moss in. I know this is a very stark contrast between these two, which kind of work together. But I think if we blend it well, especially mixing leaves in between, we maybe can make it work. Now, having the spruce as the beams, it goes very nicely with these two. I think like these more muted tones work really well with the spruce. They're not competing too much against one another. So I think that's all good. However, with these in place, we are going to have to figure out kind of what we're doing 
in terms of the other walls. Now, I was thinking, of course, uh, for a trim, something a little bit older, making this cottage look a little bit more rustic would be nice. Uh, so I'm thinking mossy cobblestone and cobblestone with some gravel or andesite, but I think the gravel will be a good replacement to the andesite. And for the walls, I did mention earlier that I would I would like to maybe use some sandstone. Let me go grab a piece of sand really quickly. And also, usually what pairs well with sandstone is oak. However, I don't really see any around here. We might have to find some quickly. But I think what we'll do is we'll build out the frame first and we'll worry about, like, the walls later. But at least for now, let's grab some of this sand to see how it looks next to our other stuff. Oak is a very basic resource, so... It's, it's probably hanging around in some places. Plus, I saw some azalea trees, and those are made of oak. So at least we've got that. Now let's just gather up as much as we can until our shovel runs out. I wonder, actually, if I go lower over here and dig into this spot, if we'll run into some sandstone. Just so it's less expensive for us to gather up this stuff. Oh, there's some right here. Perfect. I would like to make some smooth sandstone as well. Oh, still have a pickaxe, so we're good to go. So we're probably gonna have to burn some of this up. So if I intend to combine this with some oak, I think this should be more than enough for us. All right, let's head on back. Just gotta dig myself out of this hole. And there we go. Just taking a quick scan around to see if I see any oak trees. I don't yet, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. Okay, so if we're going to start this thing off, uh, let me just get rid of this so it's not in the way. And, of course, we are going to start with the base of the build. So, I'm going to grab the cobblestone and all of this stuff, and I think I'm going to start with all of this. You know what? Before I forget, first let's grab our food, and then I'm going to pop in a couple of these, and we're going to get make a stone cutter. Let's get one of those ready, um, because we are going to need it. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to start the cottage over around here. I wonder what it would look like if it kind of, like, hung off the edge a bit. So we go, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wide. I like this palette, too. Um, and all the textures combined. I think this looks really good. Looks very, like, old and rustic. So if we're doing seven wide, let's go maybe nine for the length of the build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll just combine, or not combine, we will just connect all of these together. And have to move that little amethyst cluster. That's okay. We'll just do a very messy footprint because this is kind of supposed to be like an older type build yeah i think this is this is probably ideal for placement and probably for size and uh shape i just want to do like a simple kind of like relatively medium-sized cottage for this build i think that's perfect so let's get these guys put away we're not going to need them for a while and while i'm doing this we should probably Burn some of this sandstone so we can get some smooth sandstone. And make our stone cutter, because those things are very handy to have. Just going to make sure, yeah, that burns into smooth sandstone. So stone cutter. 
Boom. Get that ready in case we need it. And I think the next thing I'm going to do is make some barrels. I would definitely like to have some barrels hanging around for decorations and also for our beams. They work really well as a base for a beam. Okay, that's, I think that should be enough for our roof. I'm not going to mess around with chopping down too much of that because if I have to chop down more tall trees, I think I just realized that'd be a lot harder than going to fetch a little bit more spruce. So I'm going to use some of the spruce as like a throwaway resource instead. I think that'll be more beneficial in the long run. Okay, we got ourselves 10 barrels. That should be good for now. So I'm going to place them at the base where the beams are going to go. So for this one, because this rests like one block lower, let's go maybe like one, two, three, four high. Two, three, four. But because these rest one block higher technically, let's go up three blocks high instead so they match perfectly in line with the beams in front. Yeah, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Oh, looking good, looking good. Let's throw a little torch in here just so we don't run into any mobs spawning in our build. That would not be good. All right, I think that is looking good so far. So what we're going to have to do next is we are going to have to get a little bit more spruce. I might have to go get more. May have to go get more. Put this away for now. I think we're done with the barrels. And then we are going to make probably some spruce stairs for our roof. And I'd like to use some um, some strip spruce log for the in-between parts of the roof as well. I think we're going to need a couple more stairs than that, though. Maybe that's good to start with. And let's build a little staircase going up. And start placing all this. Whoops. Place that a little bit too close. That's okay, though. And we'll just go right across with our spruce stairs. But I've got to sleep first. Don't want the mobs to spawn. All right, so we got our spruce trim. And I think from here, because I want this to be, like I said, more of a fantasy build, when I picture fantasy builds in Minecraft, I usually picture like very steep roofs. There's also really cool things you can do like in between uh, the middle point of the roof like slope it in different ways and stuff i still kind of need to learn that roof style so for now i'm just gonna kind of go with my gut and just just try a really steep roof this is gonna look like i think it's gonna more more so look like a very steep like almost a-frame cabin but i think that's gonna look pretty cool so this is the middle point right here i believe yes and I think for the middle point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it even one block higher and just really emphasize height on this build. Let's connect the other side first just to see what we've got working uh, with our frame so far. Just want to make sure it looks all good. So that was one, two, three, stair, upside down stair, one, two, 
Stair. Oops. Wrong way. We'll grab that later. And then one connects perfectly. Good to go. Let's take a look at, at this bad boy. This is a pretty, pretty steep roof, but I think it's going to look kind of cool, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's neat. I like that. I think that's perfect. Very, very much lonesome cabin vibes for sure. For sure. OK, that's awesome. So I think we can continue filling this out. I think what I'm going to have to do, though, is definitely grab a lot more spruce stairs. This is going to be spruce stair heavy. That is for sure. So. Couple more, maybe a stack in a bit. And then let's continue building up this frame and maybe we could fill that in next to see what the roof looks like. I think like the key to this build is going to be kind of fill in the roof first because it is the big accent piece uh, of this build and then kind of let the rest follow suit. Usually I kind of work on the walls for the most part. I mean, sometimes I, I let the roof kind of dictate the rest of the palette. But for this one, like for most builds, I would say I kind of focus on like the walls first and then fill the roof accordingly. This one is definitely, definitely the opposite for sure. Oops. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, awesome. I think maybe ow, in between these as well, what we can do is uh, maybe we could fill in like a trim line with all of these stairs. Wherever there's stairs, we can do a trim line because this is such a steep roof. Although I love the palette we have, if it was like all the way through without a little bit of spruce to break it up, I'm already anticipating that it would look like super messy. You need to have kind of like division points to help break up heavy textures like that. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot for sure. Oh, we got some rain. Actually, this is the first little bit of rain we've had, which is kind of wild. I find that like some Minecraft worlds I have, it feels like it rains every other day. It's it's bizarre. Like my chill survival world, usually when I'm filming in it, I'm not even kidding. Like every other day, it kind of feels like it rains. Sometimes I just have to like let the day pass and kind of like sleep through it because it's like it's like right in the middle of a build uh, that I'm trying to do. And I'm like, oh, no, it's brutal. I don't mind having rain in a world, to be honest, but I wish there was like kind of a slider that you could do to make it rain more or less that didn't like impact the game. Because I find that rain doesn't really have much of a survival impact. I mean, unless you have a thunderstorm going on, then mob spawn. So it's, it feels kind of more like a preference thing. And I wish it was something that you could kind of have a little bit more control over. Oh, speaking of thunder, we are going to have to go to sleep because that means mobs are going to spawn. We definitely don't want that. All right. Our structure is in place. This is a big boy. This is going to look so cool. I think we should try out our, uh, our palette, though. I'm very interested to see what it's going to look like. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop using a lot of this moss for scaffolding because some of it's going into the build now. All right, let's fill out maybe this first bit. See what we get with it. Just kind of trying to haphazardly texture this so it looks a little bit 
a little bit rough and rugged. No rhyme or reason, but also there is rhyme and reason. You know what I mean? Texturing is kind of hard like that. You know what? This is messy, but I like it. I don't know. There's something there's something about this that I really do like. I think it'll look especially very good once we start adding like leaves and stuff to it because these textures are very bold, I would say. Very, very bold textures. And then the problem with that that you face is when you have something like this and it's a bit of a smaller scale with super bold textures is you kind of notice the flatness a bit more, if that makes sense. So I think the trick to this build today is going to be bringing in like basically more three dimensional texturing and leaves are really going to help out with that. Really going to help out. So even something as simple as that can kind of help. I don't know, trick you into thinking that the flatness isn't as much there, you know? I really like I really like these textures though. I think it looks pretty neat. Especially when you kind of stand far away from it. I think that's really interesting. It's not something I typically do. So it's it's kind of fun, you know? Okay, I say we keep filling out this side of the roof as much as we can. I think I'm gonna have to go get some more moss though. But that's okay because I'm going to have to go get a couple of other things. Like, I think we're going to need some oak, probably, to offset the sandstone. And I think we might need a little bit more spruce. Very nice. Not going to worry too much about adding some more leaves just yet because I think I'd like to add maybe a chimney or something as well. So that's going to add some other variant textures to the mix. So we won't worry too much about that for now. And we'll just fill all of that in. Good to go. Couple more. I think I can make it with all of the materials I have. I'm going a little bit lighter on the moss. So I think we should have enough. Oops. Looks like we're going to get away with the amount that we have. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's take a step back, take a look at what we've got. Yeah, this is looking pretty cool so far. I like that. Very nice. Okay, cool. So we've got that figured out. Now what we have to do is kind of figure out the base of the build. Also, I kind of forgot, actually. I think I have one more area to fill out up top there. Because I didn't really finish off the top of the roof yet. Hold on a second. We are not done yet. I completely forgot about this section. So I think what I'm going to do is just literally cap this off with some spruce slabs. Keep it very simple. We've got a very busy palette, so keeping it a little bit more simple with this will be very nice. And then I think we're done. Oh, oh my gosh. Sir, you scared me. I was not anticipating anybody. You know the lore I was talking about earlier about how somebody stumbled upon this base and... You know, they found this lonesome cabin. Yep, he's making himself completely at home. Sir, you have to wait until the build is done to come explore and be like, what is this? Right now, you're just, you're looking at a shack. You're looking at a shack and nothing more. You don't even have anything for me. I can get all of this. You're, okay. The, the llamas are just so cute, though. I'm just going to leave you, baby, because you know what? I have other stuff to do. 
I'm a very busy person today. So you can like wander around here as much as you want. Cause I'm I'm leaving. I'm going exploring. I have stuff to do. And I have tools to apparently make because I am out of everything. I'm gonna make myself another iron pick and iron axe. I need a shovel too, but you know what? There's something about the shovel where I'm like, they deplete, it depletes so fast that I actually hate wasting iron on it. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna, just gonna make a stone one. Okay, let's, uh, let's take the bed. Let's get out of here. I'm not saying the wandering trader is killing the vibe right now, but it's kind of, he's kind of killing the vibe. All right, where's our boat? Let's get out of here and let's maybe grab a little bit more spruce. I think we're going to need it just for some building materials and let's find some oak as well. There's got to be some around here. I mean, we also have our map we can refer to. All of this stuff is taiga. <gasps> Ooh, there's a swamp over here. There's also a giant dark oak forest. So that probably has something that we need, you know, just a little something. I think we're good with sand. I might grab some on the way back really quickly. Come back here, grab some more sandstone, but I think we're pretty much good with that too. Realistically, we really don't have that much to fill in with the walls because the roof is so prominent. That's pretty much where all the blocks are going towards. So I'm not too worried. All right, let's choppy choppy another spruce tree. Got ourselves a good supply of this. Also, in the meantime, since we're just chilling and chopping a tree, if you enjoy these, I do have a fall long play series if you have not seen that one. So basically, I was mentioning it before how it's a mini series. We built out a small little uh, village, I would say. So it had like a starter cottage. We had farmland with a windmill and a barn. Uh, we had like an enchanting area. It was all pretty much fully fleshed out over the course of, I think, six episodes. So if you haven't seen that yet and you're interested in the commentary long plays, you can definitely check that out. I had so much fun with that series. Um, I love doing these one offs, but like I said before, I would also love to do another mini series uh, like that. It's it's just super fun to kind of have a world, small world to come back to and then kind of complete it over the course of a few episodes. See what you can do with a limited time frame, you know? So if you haven't checked that out yet, definitely check that out. I really do enjoy doing these commentary long plays. I think they're super fun. Um, it's fun just to be able to kind of like talk through the process of building and figure things out and kind of go, hmm, hmm. It's, it's just fun to take things at a little bit of a slower pace, you know? I'm gonna start calling this the hmm style of gameplay. Because I feel like that's a, that's a lot of what we we do with these long plays, but it's it's fun, you know. All right, I've got a stack in a bit. That should be good. Maybe a little bit. That's dark oak. Don't want it. Do not need it today. Uh, grab another little bit of spruce. I mean, pretty much any type of wood is great, but it's just the fact that having like so many different types of wood in your inventory starts clogging it up and it becomes very confusing. That's why I'm just trying to stick to the spruce today. And the acacia, of course. Now, where is my boat? Oh yeah, my boat is in my inventory. Classic. I think we should go this way. I think this is where the swamp kind of was. Yeah, there's a swamp over here. Guaranteed there's gotta be. That's gotta be oak unless they changed uh, the generation of the trees. Whenever I'm flipping into F5 <laughs> for the boat, there's always that moment where I'm trying to get back into first person and I feel like I'm just staring at you all. And I'm like, hi. <laughs> it always feels a little awkward. I'm just like, doop a doo Hi. 
Oh, there's some oak trees in here too. Perfect. Perfect. We gotta go to sleep though. I am, whoa! I was just gonna say, I'm not trusting this forest. Okay, I'm absolutely not trusting it. That was very intense. That spider just was gunning for me. I can see a bunch of mobs in there too. That's, I think I'd rather go to the swamp, I'm gonna be honest. Otherwise, like a bunch of creepers are just gonna keep coming after me while we're chopping down trees. We don't want that. Okay, we're very, very close. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, cool. These are like super tall. Wait, these look like the shape of jungle trees with like the very high top canopy. I don't understand how they do this where they like make different tree shapes with the blocks. I, I'm very baffled as to how they do this, but I very much appreciate it. This is gonna make it very easy for us to grab some oak, so. Whoa, that scared me. I think I hear slimes as well. Little slimy guys. Swamps are usually like guaranteed slime chunks, right? I'm pretty sure. That's how it works. I remember once, this was a long time ago, I was building out, um, I think, I forget what it was. Was I trying to make a slime farm? I think I was trying to make a slime farm for something. And it turns out I didn't even need the slime, which is like the worst part of this whole story. Anyway, I looked up slime chunk tutorial farm or not slime chunk i look up i looked up slime tutorial on youtube and i was like okay i'm gonna build a slime farm so i can i can get these dudes and it was basically like dig out a huge square at like a certain depth underground or something i don't even remember the specifics anymore point is i feel like i'm not describing this properly i feel like my mind is very jumbled while i'm talking about this anyway the point is I basically dug out this entire square in like this cave area, not realizing that it needed to be in a slime chunk. So I dug out an entire square for no reason. And I was like, why aren't the slimes generating? And then, well, it turns out classic drift didn't read the full tutorial because that's exactly how I operate. And it was like, yeah, you need to be within a slime chunk. And I was like, what's a slime chunk? And then I looked it up and it was like, well, a slime chunk is basically like a specific spot where slimes will generate. And I was like, oh, no, because it took me, I would say like, I don't know, at least like an hour and a bit to dig that all out. And I was like, oh, this is going to be so worth it. I'm going to get so many slimes. I didn't. I didn't get any. And I was so upset. I think I just ended up foregoing the slime farm altogether, especially because I later realized that what I needed it for, I didn't actually need it. It didn't matter. And I was so sad. So sad. I'm just gonna gather up some of these oak leaves. What is this tree? What are you doing and why are you, why is it so pretty? I, I like this type of tree. I've never seen anything like this before, but it just looks so cool. Very nice. Okay, I have a stack and a bit. I probably should grab more, especially because this is a little bit further out. Whoa! Look at these, like mega hot springs that is so cool i'm getting so distracted because there's just so many cool things to look at also like i think this that's basalt right yeah Oh, that's calcite, though. That's a lot. That would be amazing for building. 
so easy to get whoa there's like deep slate with coal too there's so much cool stuff love that Ooh, should grab some of these dead bushes for sure they are great for decorating you know what maybe like a couple mushies too just a couple because we are building like a little little like forest hut after all i feel like we've got to have some like stuff to brew potions or something very in theme oh frog hello hello all right i think that should be okay whoa wait never mind look at this i hit the mecca here a taiga style oak tree. Don't mind if I do. This is incredible. I am living right now. I wish this was in vanilla, honestly, because sometimes I need a lot of oak. And kind of farming for oak can be very tedious. You either have to make like a giant line of oak trees and like get through all of the leaves, or you just gotta pretty much like deforest everything. It can be quite a pain. After this tree, I'd say we're good though. Oh yeah, there's another one right there. Cool. Very nice. All right, let's head out. I think we are good for materials. I got my boat, right? Yes, I did. And look at that. This is already starting to look so cool. You are still here, sir. Sir, you know, listen, listen, I just have to let you know that I would keep you around, but the problem is you're always like, huh, huh? And honestly, it's kind of annoying for me. And I feel like it's also kind of annoying for people who watch this video too. Do you understand? I don't think you understand that because you're just vibing in a Minecraft world. But also I feel like... It's just a little bit too much to constantly hear this noise while people are watching this video and for me. So because of that, because of that, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to try to put you in a boat and just put you somewhere else today. But I just don't think it's I don't think it's enough. Let's see if this works. I mean, they are following him. And then eventually he might just like despawn or something. If we put him all the way over here, I don't think we'll be able to hear him, you know? That should be fine. I think that's good. Here, do you want like... I don't know what I could give you. Maybe like... Here's a little like overhang shelter or something, you know? Just in case it rains. Do I have any slabs? I don't even have slabs. Here, I'll just do this, though. That's nice, right? You comfy? You good? Okay, I'll see you later. Bye! I don't think we can hear him from over here. I think we should be fine. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're good. And you know why he's good, too? He's chilling. He's absolutely vibing over there. No worries whatsoever. All right. Well, that's out of the way, and we've got all of our oak. We've got like a stack in a bit. That's pretty good. Those taiga style oak trees definitely came in clutch. We also have some saplings if we need. Oh wait, no, we have two in a bit. Oh my gosh, we are we are set. All right, I would say that we should probably start um kind of filling in these walls. So I would say maybe we go sandstone up to like this point, and then we could do like a beam or something across. And then we could kind of try oak at the top. Otherwise, I think what would happen is, hold on, let me sleep first. I think if we did sandstone all the way up, it would just be like too bright. Too, too bright, almost like too smooth of a texture. You know what I mean? So I think breaking it up 
uh, would definitely be beneficial for us. And the oak pairs very, very nicely with the, uh, with the sandstone, so we are good to go. Whoops. So that'll be our doorway. And let's fill out the back really quickly, too. Oops, don't want too many in a row. And then, I think for this part, like on the side bits, I was kind of thinking of maybe adding one more layer of stone to the sides. I don't know why. I, I think it would just look kind of cool if it was less oak and maybe a little bit more stone. I don't know. If it looks, if it looks kind of um, funny, we can always replace it. And bring back some oak, but I feel like a higher higher stone wall would look kind of interesting. Let's try it out. And now, time to bring in the oak. I think we're going to need another axe. We're probably going to be stripping a lot of it, so let me just get a like burner stone axe so we don't go through an iron one and I should probably make some planks and I think most likely we'll need some stairs too because we're going to need to build a window or something now my moss do I have any extra moss I do perfect let's start by filling in the wall here Uh, I can't forget my planks. Just to give a little bit more of a rough texture. And then let's strip this to see how it looks. And for our window, I feel like a big window would look really good. So maybe like a one, two, three, three high. And then like right here, we could put the top of the window. I think that would look kind of neat. Let's take a step back, see what we got. Yes, I think if we went all sandstone, you can already see how bright it is. I think it would have been just like way too much. So having a little bit of a, a division and two different types of blocks, I think that looks really cool. This is actually really coming together. I like it. It looks very interesting. All right, so for the side here, let's just fill it in with some planks and some oak. Easy peasy. Same with over here. And then, we're just gonna fill in this wall. And we're pretty much done. Well, not done, but you know what I mean. The structure will basically be done, which means we have lots and lots of decorating to do, which is gonna be super fun. Always love decorating. It can be very, like, I guess tedious in some ways. Tedious is probably the right word, but I, I personally kind of enjoy the tediousness of a build, like decorating a build. I kind of like, I don't know, filling stuff in, being like, oh, that doesn't really work. Tearing it down, trying something new. I think it's a really fun process. Noise, noise. Looking very fresh. Fresh indeed. 
Okay, cool. So we've got pretty much the structure built out. That's pretty wild. I can't believe that. That it feels like that was uh we put that up pretty quickly. So now pretty much what we're going to have to do is start detailing things and I think maybe what I should start with is hmm. Well, we're going to need like a chimney and a bunch of detailing on there, but I think maybe I should start with the front kind of get the uh entryway done and work our way towards detailing the windows and stuff like that. And I think for that, what we're going to need is we're going to need the stone cutter, first of all, because I'm going to need a little stair for the front door. And of course, we're going to need a door. Can't forget that. So let's make some spruce doors. Let's pop this out really quickly. Put this in place. Boom. Door. Let's go. And I think another thing I would like for this build is probably like a little bit of a porch. So I think I'm going to have to make some stairs and some walls. Hmm. Mossy cobble. Oh, it was in the stone cutter. I was like, where did it go? It was there all along. Alright, let's just get like a simple little porch up. Something like this, perhaps. Maybe one more block. Like that. And then we can do a little stair in between. Little stair moment. We can get a path too. I don't know what I'm going to do for the path yet. We'll figure that out. Maybe we could like kind of put the roofing texture as a path. I don't know. That could maybe work. All right. I want to get a entryway like awning thing. So I'm going to need some spruce uh, slabs and some fencing. We're going to have to make lots and lots of fencing. So let's do that. You know what else we need? Trapdoors. Lots. I wish for a future update, I want something like the stone cutter, but a log cutter. And I would love it if spruce trapdoors were less expensive because boy, oh boy, do they look fantastic in builds, but they are very expensive to make. And it is such a shame. I really, that's kind of something that I really hope for in a future update. I would love that. What if we like, okay, hear me out. What if we went like all the way up like this? This is a little bit of a different design. Something like that. And then I was gonna put like leaves or something above here. What if we did like slab, trap door, slab. They're not gonna connect here. So it looks a little bit funky, right? But I was kind of thinking, hold on a second. Just one second, I need my moss. I was kind of thinking of doing this like little design where it's like, we could have this stair come all the way up like this. And then leaves here, of course, with like a planter thing over top. Oh, these are oak leaves. I would like maybe acacia leaves. Hold on a second. I really am vibing with the acacia leaves. I think they look so cool, especially with like the way that this biome is turning them that like almost like I don't know like desaturated dusty color. It looks wild. I love it. So we toss one here. We're gonna have to get a sign over top of it. But what if we did like extended the um this fencing here and we could put like lanterns or flower pots on top. It might look a little bit goofy. Let's see. I don't know, that looks kind of neat. I think I like that. That's kind of cool. I mean, really, we could always extend it down here. Oh, wait, you can't because that has to be a gate. That scared me so much. Endermen are slightly terrifying. We could extend the walls down here, though. Oh my gosh, he's like breathing into my ear. Where is he? Oh, I don't want to look. 
I don't want to look. Why are they so scary? I'm just minding my own business here, and I feel like I have to whisper. I think that's cute. Can I sleep? Yes, I can. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so I think, am I done with the stone for now? Might just honestly extend it into a stone path. We do have access to coarse dirt if we want. I don't know if I want that though, because I really like lining all of my paths with, co with coarse dirt. However, I feel like in this area with like the purple terrain, it might look a little bit too, like it just might not fit the vibe of this area. I'm kind of thinking maybe of like, lining in some leaves or something instead i think that could be kind of cool just make like a really rough and rugged path with like mostly gravel i think that blends in a little bit better into the landscape and then what we can do is maybe here and there do like a couple of leaves into the ground this really only works if you have the um like a resource pack for bushy leaves. I always use germs better leaves. Uh, it's pretty much my favorite uh, resource pack for bushy leaves. It I've used it, I don't know, forever. And never, never have gone wrong with it. Never gone wrong. Okay, I think that's looking pretty cool. So all of that stuff is done. What else do we need? Oh, well, we definitely need a window. We also, on this, like, strip spruce, what I'm thinking is we need some texture. So one thing that we can do is probably add, like, buttons and signs to it. I would say spruce. I was going to maybe add some oak in between, but I kind of like just how, like, the, just, like, the very classic smooth texture of the spruce. It just needs a little bit of, like, dimension if that makes sense so i think i'm gonna do that instead of uh switching some of it out to oak i'm glad i ended up getting a lot more spruce because yeah i'm using i'm using quite a bit for like extra details and stuff So if we pillar up here, one, I've got to add something to this planter box. Perfect. And two, maybe what we can do is start figuring out what we're going to do here. So I'm kind of thinking like spruce signs around the top part of the beam like this. Ah, I'm going to need more moss too. <laughs> I'm using a lot to scaffold and we're kind of running out. But we can go get that in a second. Just gotta eat really quickly. So then descending from the signs can have buttons. So that just adds a little bit more like texture and dimension to the beams without having to replace anything with like another type of block. You can really see the difference left to right how much of a difference that makes. I think that's like simple, simple, but makes enough of like a statement, you know? Let's just grab this moss. There's something I'm stepping on that sounds like a creeper's about to explode. I think it might be, It might be like this that's kind of tricking me because I'm not used to hearing that noise. So every time I run over it, I'm like, oh, what is that? It's terrifying me. All right, let's apply this to these ones as well. button here and then we could put one like up here maybe oh we need something along here as well what if we did like 
trap doors or something. We could probably hang a lantern off of it if we go one up like this. I have to remove this though. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so for this one, these up here, because we have limited space, obviously, to do the sign button, what we could do maybe instead is do sign here and then buttons down here. And then the buttons will be in line with this one, and I think it'll all work out nicely. I just need to climb over here so I can get some signs over here. Uh, gotta go the other way now, too. Here, here. I did the button on that side, right? Oh, did I not? Did I forget about that button? I did. I did indeed. And we just gotta do this side too, and then we're like pretty much good. One there. One here. Boom, boom. Boom. Oh, there's a pillager there. Oh, that scared me. At least I'm like anticipating them now because if they kind of like came out of nowhere, I probably would have probably would have screamed. I'm just gonna collect this sign so it doesn't despawn. And we gotta collect all our moss too. Oh no, there he is. Uh, leave me alone. Go, go bother him. I can't believe he's still there, honestly. I thought he would have, like, despawned by now or something. Oh, man. This is the lonesome cottage. There's, suppo there's not supposed to be anybody here. Somebody's not supposed to stumble upon this for, like, eight years. And we've got the wandering trader. We've got these pillagers. They're like, oh, hey, what's up? Nothing. Leave me alone. Please. I beg. <sighs> Pillagers and wandering traders cannot be reasoned with. I just have one more side to fill out, but I think I gotta deal with these guys first. The problem is, I don't even have any milk close by. I'm gonna have to go get, like, uh, I'm gonna have to go find a cow. They're, like, slowly inching up, and it's making me very uncomfortable. I think I might just like, hold on. I have a quick fix for this. I really don't like the way they're creeping up on me. There's gotta be some lava around here though. You know? Is there, oh, there's some over here. If I find a lava, a lava pit or a cow first, that's, what I'll, that's how I'll deal with them. You know what I mean? I'll either grab milk so I can kill them and get the bad omen and get rid of it. Or I will grab some lava and I will just accidentally drop it near him. That's the plan. <gasps> there's a cow. All right, we're going with option number one. Oh, there's actually so many here. What the heck? Th these are like the most animals I've seen in Minecraft world like ever. Oh, that was easy. Looks like it's option number one, buddy. <laughs> Not sure which one is worse, honestly. Get my sword ready. Where'd he go? Hello? Don't tell me they're like in the house now. Okay, what is going on here? Where did they go? Did they just despawn? Did they know what tricks I was up to and they were like, you know what? It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Oh, God, they're totally gonna sneak up on me. At least I have the milk ready, but I am not ready to be scared when they come back. I literally cannot see them. There's no way they despawned that quickly. Very suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Okay, well, I'm just gonna carry on just vibing and building. <laughs> I feel like every 10 seconds I'm like, oh, what's that? What's that? It's 
fine. We're fine. They're not gonna bother us. They wouldn't. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. I'm scared. All right. Those are all done. Oh, looking good. Looking good. I don't think the bottom beams really need it. I'm gonna probably attach some like lanterns and stuff. Listen, I'm just gonna do one more check. Are they in here? No, they're not. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, I think that's looking really good. I wonder if I have any extra sand left because I would like to get some glass panes. So let's get a couple of those. And we can probably start making our torches or sorry, our lanterns as well. We're gonna need some coal. Do I have any more in here? I do. Oops. Need more sticks. And we need some of these. Got some lanterns. Good to go, and I'm gonna sleep. All right, I'm gonna pop some lanterns over here. I just realized I am working on the front of the build. I need to do this for the back of the build too. Classic, I'm always forgetting about the backs of the build. <laughs> We've gotta complete it though, we have to. I can't keep uh, running that track record. Or can I? Hmm. Let me know. Do you all complete the backs of your builds? Sometimes I do. It depends on like where I'm working, like what world I'm working in, what area it's facing. You know what I mean? If it's like you have to walk past it every single day. Yeah, I will finish the back of the build. You know what I mean? But if it's like a spot where you're not necessarily ever going to see the back of it. Mm, sometimes I just leave it a little bit undetailed. A little bit undetailed. Oh, we got more rain. Okay, I think that's looking good. And then that also means we can pop a lantern here if we want. Cute. And if we want to give this a little bit more detail, let me just grab one of these and one of these. Make a little slabby slab. Just to give a little bit more, like, depth, you know? This is looking very nice. All right, this is turning out to be super cool. I'm very happy with it. It's very cozy. I don't have connected textures here. A shame. But that's okay. I'm I can get over it. Okay, so I think what we need next is probably like a chimney here. And we definitely need this. There's a lot of flatness here, but a lot of that can be fixed with um just things on the side of the build, like even a nice little lean to, some more leaves. You know what I mean? I think also what we need to figure out is what are we putting What are we going to do in there? What are we going to put in there? But Maybe we should figure out a little bit more of the outside first before we move on to that. So for this side, I think we can get like a nice little lean two. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And then we can just do like a simple little fence post for supports, just like that. And within that, we can pretty much put anything we want. Um, I usually do chests, barrels, let's see. barrels here. Let's maybe make ourselves a couple more chests for decoration. We're going to need quite a few. So we could do this. And then just right here, we can do something like a little collection of barrels, you know? Something like that. Nice and simple. Do a little lantern here, and if we want to connect it, I would say we could either do like a little path like this.
But if the path is too much with the, uh, with like the lavender ground, honestly, maybe switch this out. I'm thinking we kind of keep it classic with the stone. This is looking a little bit, a little bit too contrast, even not in a good way. So let's bring our stone back. All right, let's fix this up really quickly. I'll just bring the pathing back throughout here. Those are buttons. Those are not cobblestone. <laughs> My bad. Oh, whoops. Could use a little bit more, um, a little bit more gravel, actually. I do need... Did I get rid of all those slabs? Those two. I thought I, I thought it came with a couple more. Here we go. There they are. We can put these to good use. Let's get a slab here, a slab here, so we have a little walkway. And I need a little bit more gravel. There's tons around here, though. Lots and lots of gravel pits. At least I thought I saw some around here. There we go. I will definitely say that uh, the Terralith mod has made getting certain resources so much easier. Like even uh, a while back when we were getting the oak, finding those giant oak trees was super, super useful. And like acacia wood, didn't have to travel to a warm biome for that. Everything's just kind of more condensed into one central area, which is really nice. gonna grab a stack of this there we go one stack good to go then we can finish texturing up that path and then after that all we really have left to do is the interior pretty much i do want to add maybe a couple more details to the outside in certain spots but for the most part it's looking pretty good can already kind of see it from there oh yeah we need to add the chimney too Almost forgot about that. Definitely need some smoke and some movement coming from the house. And we're definitely gonna have to texture this side too. Just add, I would say probably just adding some leaves or something to it. All right, let's finish attaching these paths. This shovel is gonna break at any second. There we go. Well, just gonna use my hands. The original shovel. There we go. I'm gonna do mostly gravel on this part, I think. I think that's kind of cute. Yeah. Don't want anything too crazy. And then I think what we can do is put maybe a couple of the oak leaves in corners like this, just so they're like sprouting out a little bit. Right there. Something like that. I think this is looking really good so far. I really love the backdrop of these trees. I think we chose the right biome for this build, or rather we chose the right build for this biome, because we kind of started with the idea of building here, so. Alright, so we're just going to need a, uh, <gasps> do I not have deep slate? Oh yeah, I do. I do. We're just going to need some uh, chimneys now, and we're pretty much good. So I need some coal, and we're going to need some logs, and I would say probably, probably two chimneys. 
I love a good old double chimney. And let's get our trap doors. I think that's enough. Yeah, should be good. Acacia leaves, got them in case we need to wrap some around the chimney. Oh, <gasps> I forgot. I forgot. Can't leave that there. That would that would just be tragic. Let's grab a piece of cobble so we can patch that up. Boom. Eat a little pork chop. Oh no, that Enderman is not having a good time in this rain. I heard that. He was like, bro, please help me. I cannot help. I am sorry. Uh, I feel like I should start maybe the chimney right here. Oh, you know what I forgot though? Oh no. Okay, hold on a second. I forgot, I wanna make some of these bricks, so I'm gonna have to use the stone cutter really quickly. Oops, I'm not mean to place that there. There we go. Can we get this up before nightfall? Let's see. Mm, one, two, three, and then maybe this one can go one, two, three. Then we get one here, get one here. I could maybe bring this one up one more. We'll see. We'll see how it looks from the ground level. And then finally, let's quickly wrap some leaves around this. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can. The mobs are all coming out. No, please, I beg. I beg. Spare me. As long as there's no creepers, which there very well might be. Oh no. I should probably move this bed indoors just in case. Oh, safe in here. Alright, let's deal with that zombie. He decides to show his face. There's a couple over there, too. I think that chimney's looking good, though. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, I do have free cam. Amazing. Uh, yes. I like that a lot. Hello. So, yeah, that's... I think that's a good height for what we want. I could maybe make bring it up a little bit more, but I don't know. I think that's good. So now all we have to do is get some detail here. And I would say just a couple of leaves coming on down like that. And maybe a couple here. And then we got, we've got to fix the backing of the build before we move on to the interior, I think. It's just looking very, very bare. And I feel like we might regret it if we uh, were to have left it, you know? We'll just do something very simple. Uh, we'll just add the trim and the buttons as well, so that doesn't get left behind. But in terms of, like, the back of the build, I mean, just a couple of, like, leaves, maybe. Whoops. Let's just go fully across. Do planters. Oh my gosh. Oh, Endermen are terrifying. Stop it! I don't want to look at you. I think that's good, and then... Ooh, I just realized we're gonna need more trapdoors. We're gonna need a couple more trapdoors. Let's make sure we have our buttons so we can just get all of this done in one sweep. And then we're pretty much good to go. Where did I put those buttons? 
because I had them in my inventory. Now I literally cannot see them. So strange. What? Are they here? What happened to them? I swear I placed some. Maybe I placed them later on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> That's okay. We can just make more. Okay, apparently I did not have them. They might be in one of the chests somewhere then. And finally, let's make a couple more trap doors. I think that should be good. And we will quickly decorate this out. So this one is the signs going across. Buttons. Signs. I hope I have enough. Oh, I forgot. We don't need these ones because I'm going to put trap doors here with our lantern. Boom. Nice. And finally, buttons on this one. And sign right here. Got it. And very last one. Boom. Done. Can I grab that sign quickly? Yes, I can. I think this is looking so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, um, in terms of this wall, I might just do the same thing with like just a couple of leaves right here. That's about it. I really just don't think it needs much else. Like, I don't want to over clutter it. We have a lean to over here. That's fine. And that's looking perfect. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. Look at the way that the trees kind of frame the build. I think that the Enderman, I think that looks so awesome though. It just like, it looks perfectly nestled within this biome. Who's that? Who is that? Hi, it's me. Huh. Huh. It looks like a National Geographic, like drift in the wild type thing. Now, this looks so good, though. I love that. I think it looks perfectly nestled within this biome. Can I stare at the Enderman with free cam? Is he going to... Oh. Let's see if this works. I might regret this. Oh. I don't, I don't know. Let's check from this side, too. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. That looks so pretty. I love it. Honestly. Honestly. Looking great. Okay, so now that we've got the outside done, I would say we pretty much just have to do the inside and then we're all pretty much good to go. So I'm going to start, of course, by filling in the floor. I'm almost wondering if this acacia wood would look good as flooring. I think it will. Very like rugged looking. We have so much iron now. So I'm gonna treat myself to a shovel.
This is, of course, going to be a very, very simple interior. We don't have that much space to work with, but I think we can make, make it work. Like, even within this nook, that'd be like a great shelf or something. There's some things we can do. It's basically going to be like a cute little cabin, probably with like a little furnace workshop area and then a bed. I'm assuming probably going to have to make it like all open. Open concept, but that's all good. Okay, cute. Simple flooring. Got it. You know what? This does kind of... I don't know. Is it like too desaturated? Too great? You know what? Let's run with it. Let's run with it. Let's dye our bed, though. I completely forgot that was an option. Let's get ourselves a classic blue bed. And for this, what are we going to do? I feel like a loft situation might be the vibe, you know? I'm kind of feeling loft vibes. So if we're going to do that, we're going to need probably some slabs. Boom. We will need ladders too, but let's figure out this loft layout first. I mean, I would ideally like it to be facing where the window is. So that's one, two, three, four. If we go five, is that like way too much? I don't think so. We could also kind of like do it so it's a little bit more L-shaped. So we have an easier way up. This is going to look really awkward though. We might end up having to fill this in actually. Yeah, I think it might look a little bit weird if we leave that. That's okay though. I think I like the loft style better because then we have space for like a bed. So we're going to need a couple ladders. Ooh, you know what we can do? Do I have any more spruce? I sure hope I do. <gasps> oh, I'm almost out. Let's make a couple of trap doors. We can get like a little ladder thing up to the loft if we do this bam i think if we're doing like open concept loft style like the the um walls are so messy we might as well just kind of own it and do beams across instead i'm gonna have to make more slabs but i feel like we've kind of gotta we've gotta own the messiness like that's the whole point of the build right So let's get some fencing, barrels. My bed is in my inventory. We are going to have to sleep in a moment. I need to like, I feel like I do the same type of bed over and over. I need to kind of experiment. I either go bunk bed, which is great, but I don't think a bunk bed really kind of fits this area like the vibe of this area so much so i'm like hmm what do i want to do i always just do kind of like a classic classic bed with like a sign around it i feel like i gotta switch it up a bit you know maybe i could box it in a little bit better i don't know let's try some stairs Like, maybe a stair will give it a better frame or something. Something like that. I would like a unit behind it, though. Okay. I think... I think I might have an idea. So I would like... Ooh, actually, I've got an idea. I guess this is kind of similar to what I've done before, but... What if we went, like, full wardrobe unit? Bed... What if we went like double bed? Although we can't really go double bed, can we? Because I'm gonna have to find more sheep and they're a little bit scarce around here. 
Or, you know what? Something like that could be cute. I don't really build beds into units like this. I think that could be kind of neat. Um, it would definitely have to change the look of this unit a little bit. Probably go like three high instead. Three high, and then maybe across we go like this. So then what we can do is hang like a lantern, you know, like a little reading light. Can get item frames, we can get paintings. I am going to have to find sheep or something. Am I going to hit my head on this? Is that silly? Maybe like a nice classy little like painting or something right in here. Right in that nook would be kind of cool. Can also enclose that so it looks more like a wardrobe type thing. I think that's kind of cute. And then on this side, what if we did like a wraparound style wardrobe or something? Let's get full spruce wood here. Do that. I'm trying to think. We want enough space to walk, so I think that's good. Now we just need to kind of place stuff along here. I think that's good as like a little, kind of like a little um, table area. Ooh, you know what though? Now that I've said table, I'm like, what if we do like a cute little desk or something instead? I feel like that would fit the vibe more. Can do this. Oops, not that. You know what? We can do that, right? And then we can get one of these guys. Do like a fancy acacia chair. Or like a little pop of color, you know? Acacia chair with like uh, spruce signs as the arms to switch it up a little bit. And then what we can do is probably like a little shelving unit. I'm going to have to go get some materials first, though. Mm. I have to go oak for some of this stuff. I always forget how to make gates. This is gates, right? Yeah. Do that. Then we'll do oak trap doors. We can also, um, we can also like shear maybe some of the cool little like cherry blossom leaves and stuff to get different types of, uh, different types of leaves in here as well we're gonna need to shear sheep because i feel like oh actually you know what that looks kind of good maybe if we did like a trap door in between like that then we could get just some stuff here you know just some cute stuff i still think i would like to do beams across i wonder what it would look like if we used oak It might actually end up brightening up the place a little bit, too. Mm, what was I looking for? Oh, yeah, my moss. My moss. So if we go, like... This, oops. And then what if we went, oops, not that. I kind of thought to maybe make it so it's like this, this, this. We're gonna have to get rid of that one block at the top so it's not a full block though. So we'll have to switch that out. Maybe bring it down by one here, too. Hold on. 
I have to do this in like an awkward way. There we go. Just so we can like hang a lantern from it or something. I don't know if that's gonna look too goofy. Ah, uh, this this one looks a little goofy. That's okay though. Honestly, we can probably just like hang lanterns in between if we get some chains. We have so much iron, we could definitely do that. Oops. Toss away some of the stuff that we don't need anymore. Actually, we'll probably need this. And while we're at it, I completely forgot. Let's get this stuff burning. We're going to need tons of flower pots. So, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, some chains. Let's get some chains hanging from the ceiling. I think that would look really neat. gotta eat quickly and let's scaffold up I would say we could probably place some I don't even know if we need the walls to be honest probably place some here and then go across like this maybe place one here just at different levels, too. I think it looks nice when it's at different levels. I'm gonna drop onto the crafting table. Craft up some... No, I'm not, because my torches are in my hand. Now I'm gonna craft up some more lanterns. And then we are going to place these on the chains. I feel like two is probably good. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's cool. And then in between, I would say like, I think I gathered up some azalea leaves. I think the azalea leaves would look kind of cool in between those. I did also want to check out some of the cherry blossoms, potentially. It might be too much pink, but we'll see. They also could look different in this biome too, but I don't think so. I think they're the same. see. No, they look the same. That's okay. Oh! Oh, no. I almost fell. I almost fell. Okay, I'm gonna reserve the cherry for, like, a planter. So we're gonna leave these aside for a second. Then we're going to bring in the acacia leaves. And now it's time to start putting a bunch of these just around, you know? Just give this some leafy texturing. I think that's cute. Kind of just helps like fill the space up a little bit. So when you look up, it's like an old ceiling, but at least it's got a little bit more like character and life to it. Keeping it relatively simple, I think that's good. All right, so we've got this sorted. Probably put like a little chest or something up there. I feel like if we can get enough wool, getting like carpet here would help out so, so much. It's just, I need to find some more sheep. That's like the one animal we haven't really come across yet. But also I really wanted to have some sheep for, um, for paintings too. So gonna have to be careful with that. 
let's fill in these walls. And the downstairs, I'm pretty much just picturing it to be like workshop kitchen area. Got ourselves a cozy upstairs. It's all good to go, minus just like some decorations with some flower pots and stuff. And then down here, kitchen area. Speaking of flower pots, I think our clay should be cooked. That one never cooked because I never put coal in it. So let's put a little bit in here. We might need some more coal, maybe for some torches. We'll see. I'm going to start crafting these guys up. And I've almost forgot. I wanted to get some on the outside of this build too. Uh, moss. Going to have to scaffold up. I'm thinking maybe like a couple of these like really cute ferns. They look so cool. So I think maybe a couple of these guys. Just to complement the planter here. What if we got rid of these buttons? This one. And then this one. And then just popped a couple ferns right here and here. I think that looks real cool. I like that. Yeah, now it looks more complete, the outside. I really like that. Can also add in a couple more um, just flower pots here and there with maybe like an azalea bush. Something simple. We did grab these dead bushes too, so we can finally make our uh, our cherry trees on the inside if we want. Very nice. So I would say maybe like in this corner, we could put down just a cute little planter. Boom. Something like that. And also repeat something similar upstairs. Would this be enough space? I feel like it would be. cute and then in here we need to figure out what we're gonna do with the little like kitchen area and stuff I'm kind of thinking like this part we kind of block off like this so it's like a little storage unit you know what I mean so it can even be half blocked off like this and then we just fill it with junk I think that would look super cool in this corner and then the rest can kind of be like just a little crafting area, stuff like that. Might end up having, hmm. If we're doing this, we might end up having to utilize this space. Let me break this for, like really quickly and place it on this side instead. Yeah, this will give us more, more like area to work with because we're not gonna have this fence here on the other side. What else do we have? Let's see. Ooh, the stone cutter could be a good decoration. All right, let's make one more set of shears because ours are about to break and there is one more sheep hanging out over here. I think that we should go try to shear it. Maybe find a couple more because I really want to get some like paintings and stuff. And a little bit of carpet if we can. There he is. I see him. I see him. There you go. And if there's one, there's got to be another. Some spiders here. Okay. Don't really. Oh, there's one. There's one. Perfect. Just as much wool as we can get would be awesome. That's pretty much like the last bit of decoration that we really need around our base. But it's so vital to have things like carpet and just like just little things like that to make it feel a little bit more homey. Ooh, bamboo would be a good block to have in a flower pot. That's nice. That's nice.
Oh, lots of zombies over there. I am gonna go the other way. I'm gonna swiftly go around. Ow! Whee! Whoa, that scared me. I was not expecting to, like, sink down that far. Also, where's that wandering trader? Is he still here? Oh. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to eat. I need to eat. I took a little bit of damage. Oh, there's another sheep. Or it's maybe the same one that just keeps regenerating its wool. It's okay. Either way. We need. I need. There you are. Boom. We got three. I honestly thought that was a sheep. It is literally just clay. Okay, so there's two sheep around here, so we can kind of come back for some more wool if we need to. At least we got these guys hanging around. They're not too far from us, so it's not much of a hassle. But we just need to, um, pretty much, we just need to dye some of this for carpet. And then we need to make some paintings out of them. And I think we'll be good. I was going to use a spore blossom, but honestly, I don't think it really needs it. Like, I love adding movement to areas like this but there's just something about the stillness of this forest that i like too i don't want to like overwhelm it with particles and just random stuff like that so i'm, I'm pretty happy with what we've got okay i'm gonna have to decide on a carpet color does this give us just like regular blue light blue light blue could be kind of cool maybe let's see Oops, did not mean to grab the bamboo. Let's do two. For like a cozy upstairs, I feel like this could be nice. <laughs> We're gonna need maybe a bit more than that. Probably like put some white in between as well. Maybe like a little piece right here. I think that's cute. I like that. All right, I'm gonna place down this so I can make a bunch of paintings. Well, only two, but that's okay. Gives us a good start. There we go, perfect. So we've got that there. And one here would look really cool. I just don't know if I want it that big. Let's try this, maybe. Can do like a little painting wall. So we can get that one, and then we just need to shear some more sheep. Or actually, no, we don't. I just need some more sticks, and we can make a couple more paintings. And then we should be good to go for like a little mini gallery wall or something. Okay. Let's do that. Whoops. I want like the elf guy right here. Yeah. Elf guy. Let's go. Oh, I love that. That looks so cute. Very nice. And then I think maybe across what we could do, maybe a couple gates. I was going to do trap doors, but maybe some gates there would be kind of cute as like a little detail. And then possibly right here can maybe get a little lantern or something. Ooh, or glow berries. Glow berries would look cool. We just have to remember to shear them. I think that would be a huge vibe. Okay, okay. Maybe some more glow berries up in here too could also help with like making the, um, the ceiling space look a little bit more like rough. Just gonna sleep quickly and then we'll add a couple more of those and for the downstairs 
I think I'm just going to keep it really just like simple and practical with like the things that we would actually use. So definitely um, we've got this. We're going to need some space to work on. So I would say maybe we grab some of these. We grab some of this, this, and a barrel. We're going to need to make way more barrels. So we can make like a little table here. And then in this spot, we could have uh, like a nice little shelving unit. Something like that. So that way we can have the stone cutter down there. And then we need to have some lanterns, of course. Lanterns, a chest up here. Ooh, we should probably block this off if we can. I think I can. Hold on a second. Let's see. Yeah, that works, but I think we're going to have to close this off with a slab or something. Then I wonder what it would look like if I did a little bit of a wall like that, just to enclose it a bit. I really like enclosing, like, workspaces. It kind of just helps make things feel a little bit more complete, if that makes sense. Now, this area is open concept, too, so I'm going to have to, like, figure out like what I should put in this corner. Something that's something that might have a little bit of height. Honestly, this flower would probably be a good bet too. Not sure though. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to make more torches. Sorry, more lanterns. So we can get one probably on top of here. And Probably in this corner too somewhere. I feel like a little, like a little nice table right here would be really nice. Just for like knickknacks or something. Whoops. Mm. Gonna have to like this upside down stair placing it. You can't really place it where the flower pot is, if that makes sense. I have to break that, I think. Let me just put that there temporarily. Put that back. And then we can have a little... Ooh, what would it look like? Trap door in between, like, an oak one. I think that looks kind of cute like that and then we could just have a simple chest and a lantern or what it would it look like if it was like double chests like this oops something like that could be kind of cute or are they too floaty? They're a little bit too floaty, I think. I have to put something else there. Probably a flower pot, honestly, and maybe some glow berries or something. Let's get some orchids, corn flowers. We have so many plants to choose from, it's awesome. So we can do the orchid here. And then I said I was going to close this off. Something like that kind of works. That looks like weird, but I like it, you know? I don't know. I think that looks kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. Perfect. Oops. Oh, do I have any more spruce? Any at all. I'm actually running quite low on it. Ooh, while we're while we're out here, I need to make a couple more barrels as well. So, I'm going to have to take whatever 
wood I have left and just use it. I have quite a bit of oak, thankfully, so I can use that. Because I need to make my little junk pile underneath uh, our ladder. And for a junk pile, we're definitely going to need lots and lots of barrels. It'll just be like a little overstock area. Something like that. I think that looks super cute. So there's like an, a little excess storage there. Maybe we could top it off with a lantern here. Kind of like this trim we have running. I think it looks kind of cute. And I think that's like pretty much it for the downstairs. I don't want to do too much. I just need something in this corner though. That's like the one question mark that I have. I'm like, what do I put here? Do I just put more storage possibly? I just, I really like this little junk storage that we have here. I don't want to overdo it because like, this feels so sectioned off and almost organized that adding another one here would just be redundant, if that makes sense. So I'm like, what do I put here in its place? Maybe just like, like, do I put art there? I don't know. Maybe some more plants or something. What if I did like a little like botany table? We just do like tons and tons of pots. And then maybe what I could do is close this off and we could have glowberries hanging from here. And it would be like, just like a little like botany area. I think that actually looks really cool. And the space looks more complete now, actually. Okay, yeah, I am into that idea. So we're gonna need the last of these. Just make them all into flower pots. Why not? So we got our orchid, our bamboo. You know what? We put an orchid there, so we don't need that. Can we put warped root by chance? Not sure. Flowering azalea we haven't done yet. We've only done the regular on the outside. Oops. I'm gonna put that one in the middle. Like that. And then like the two green things will kind of like encompass it there. I think that's really cute. I like that a lot actually. Oops. I was going to put a little painting there, but you know what? It's excessive. And plus we can use it somewhere else. Like I think we need at least one more here, you know? Also with this little overhang here now, we have like a spot for some excess like storage as well, kind of like that. The glowberries still haven't grown yet, but that's okay. Excess storage there, a lantern. And right here above this will be the perfect spot for a painting. I don't know if I can put it if the trap door's there, no. I can, however, hmm. maybe up here. Then it'll be like too wide across. This one feels out of place. Kind of just like the wall there blank. What if I did this? I have like a really messy wall. No, my painting! Trying to find the perfect one. Not that one. No. 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 <laughs> this is taking forever. I know there's a different one that's like, there we go. That had like warmer tones. That is perfect. Look at that. Our messy gallery wall. All of that. We just need glowberries now. 
And then we're pretty much done. And also, I do kind of need to move all of this stuff inside. I think I'm going to take a moment to do that. Just so this place isn't like a hot mess anymore. And then we can, um... Once we figure out all of this storage stuff, we can go on a quick little hunt to find the remaining glow berries so this space is pretty much complete. And then we're pretty much good to go. I realize I didn't really put a furnace in here, but honestly, I don't know if I want to put it, put it in there. I know it's like a functional thing to have, but I'm kind of vibing with how this looks, so I'm just like, I don't know, I don't I don't want to mess up the look by putting a furnace in if we don't really need it, you know? I mean, if I ever use this as an actual base, what I would do to compensate for that is just have like a workstation outside that would have furnaces. So that's my reasoning for not having them in here. All right, I'm gonna organize all this stuff and then I will be back to show you all everything cleaned up. All right, so everything has been cleaned up. Well, I mean, as clean as it can be. It's not like I didn't put everything into just random barrels. I I would never ever, ever do that. No, I didn't. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. The the level of organization in this place, it's impeccable. It's incredible. So good. You didn't see a thing. You saw nothing. Anyway, Okay, to finish this off, we are going to go on one more little adventure to get a couple more glow berries for this little section, and then we are pretty much done with this build. I recognize that I probably could have run to go get those after I organized my storage, but I just wanted to bring you all along with me. One last final adventure together, and I just realized I should probably get a water bucket. Hold on. Because that lush cave was not pleasant. Should I just drink this milk? Probably. Well, let's just get a little bit of calcium. And then grab a little bit of water. Please and thank you. And we'll go down to that lush cave. And then we'll find uh, some glowberries. And that's pretty much it for the build. We'll do a walkthrough after. I think it's looking super good though. I am very happy with how this one turned out. And I had such a blast with this mod. Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, like, this just felt like such a new adventure. It was very fun. Oh my gosh, so many cows. It was the best way to do this. Oh, there's some right there. Okay. Well, that's easy. No. We. Or are there some in here, too? If there's some in here, no, I don't think so. I was going to say, it makes my life way easier. Okay, let's figure this out. That's one. We only need three, so... Oh no. Two, three. And we're good. I think that's it. Three glowberries. No sweat. No sweat at all. Except I'm sweating now because I can't get up. Oh no. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I have nothing. Oh no, I have nothing to scaffold with. Um, Why did I place this here? You know what? No, I'm smarter than this. This is what I can do. No reason to panic. No reason to panic. Okay, I had reason to panic because I couldn't think about that as a solution just yet. All right, which way are we going here? Let's just go up and around. Let's just do a quick little stroll through this forest. And look at that. I'm so happy I finished the back of the build. Oh, takes a lot for me to do that sometimes, but hey, I did it. I did it. Let's get rid of this torch here too. And this one. Ah, oh, perfect. Amazing. Okay. So, one, two, three. And it's pretty much done. I mean... Wait, I might have bone meal. Hold on, hold on. Nope. Ah, oh, here we go. 
Yay! Okay, this is like the final piece of the build. I was sad. I was like, I don't have bone meal to light these up. I do. Look at that. So cute. And let's add some finishing touches to this one. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's add a couple more to the top over here as well. Like I said I was going to, then I kind of forgot. Those will grow. And then it'll just kind of provide like a little bit of lighting too. Once they grow, they'll look like a little bit better. But that's super cute. One here as well, doesn't hurt. Also, this this really empty wall, honestly, glowberries. I feel like glowberries are kind of just like, they're really coming in clutch, and I think they just kind of frame stuff nicely. I don't know. I love that. This is supposed to be like a very old build, so like I think it's okay if things are very messy looking, you know? So I like little details like that, as long as they fit the vibe of the build. I am like known for spamming leaves and stuff like that, but I, I've been trying to like do it when it's more ne more so necessary, you know? Not that there's like a right or wrong way to do it, but I've been trying to be a little bit more sparing with like my leaves spam spamming for certain builds, but this one I think kind of calls for it, you know? Spam away. That's, that's what I gotta say. Spam away. All right. I think we're pretty much done with this build. I think it's looking awesome. I really love how it looks just like nestled within the forest. Here, let me zoom in again. So nice. I'm just gonna, I keep, I look so out of place. I look so out of place in my Arthur sweater. Like I need like a, I should be wearing like a little fantasy outfit, but look at that. That looks like a cute and cozy fantasy cottage and I think this biome, like, they both work hand in hand, you know? They both really reflect that in one another, and I think we did a really good job of kind of building something that fits into this landscape. That was a little bit of a challenge, because, like, working with something that has, like, a lavender ground and very tall trees like this, like, there are very specific things that will work with this biome and some things that may not. And I, I think we did a good job kind of, like, trying to find a style that would fit within this landscape. I'm really happy with the roof too. I don't really go for palettes like this too often and I think it works. I don't know. It's super messy, but I like it. I think it looks super cute. I also really like the details on the doors, flower pots and stuff. I think it's all, it all came together really nicely and I'm really happy with this one. It feels like simple, but in a good way, like not, not too, too much. I think it does the job. And I think it exactly gives that vibe of what I was talking about, where, like, you stumble upon this in, like, an enchanted forest. And it kind of looks like it's been here a while. It has, like, it has, it definitely has, like, a story to it, you know? Definitely has a story to it. Now, for the inside, I should probably go to bed so mobs don't spawn outside. And when I'm saying bye to you, a creeper's like, bye, and explodes as well. Like, that would just not be great. So let me sleep first. And let's just take a look. So we got our downstairs, super cozy. We got like a little entryway. Oh, hey, I, oh, I'm gonna put my water bucket. I just came home from Watertown and I got us some water, yay. Stone cutter, yay, cutting stone. This chest doesn't open, but that's okay. That's okay, if we ever, if we ever use, made this a usable space, I would, I would change it, yay. We got our crafting table. We've got like a cute little table for our workbench. I I don't know why. I love this little idea of like a little designated messy storage. It's like it's so funny because it's like a rugged little cottage. It's it has like a ton of mess and character to it. And it's like there are some things that are tidy about it, but it's like, no, nah, we have to have a designated like messy spot though. Honestly, kind of looks like the cupboard under the stairs in my own home. That's what my cubby looks like. You open it up, it's just like a pile of stuff kind of precariously stacked on one another. <laughs> but yeah, we've got um, got our little like botany table, which I think is cute. It really reflects the area that we're in because there were like a lot of plants. There was tons of lush cave underneath us. So I think it's kind of nice to tie that in as well. Uh, it's reflective of the area around us. And then up top, we got a simple, nice open bedroom 
I mean, I think I need to start experimenting more with like, I, I don't know, like beds and like bed frames and stuff, but I do like this one. I think it works. Um, but yeah, like I, I don't know. I find that I always default to something very, like pretty much like the same old where it's like a bed with two side tables and stuff. So I do like that I built this one into it, have like a little frame and stuff and some storage around it. I think that's super cute. Got a cozy little table. You know what? The view out here isn't too bad. That's not too shabby. Got some storage up here. And I think like what really sells me on this is keeping this open. I, I think I would have been a little bit sad if we closed it off. Plus it would have looked a bit awkward in a way maybe because the walls, we've already leaned into it. These walls are the roof. So we might as well just keep like keep some height and just really lean into the mess of it, you know? And I think it all came together. I really like that little gallery wall and some like messy storage here. I think it looks super cute. So yeah, that's pretty much the build. I'm very, very happy with it. I had so much fun. This was a this was quite a challenge in some ways. And it I feel like it's not usually what I normally do with builds, but I think it was I think it was a really, really fun challenge, especially I'm very, very happy with that roof. Okay, there's one last thing I want to fix up. I was just kind of looking at this chimney from afar, from the outside. Let me free cam. Let me free cam. I was looking at it and I was like, I feel like the chimney needs to go down just a little bit further, this one. And then this one needs to rest just under the, uh, the roof line. So being the picky person that I am, I'm going to fix that up really quickly. We're going to have to break these campfires, but that's okay. I have a couple on standby. So I would say maybe where this dirt is right here or possibly where these leaves are. We get the first chimney. So we go, we just make this thing like extra tall. And then the second one will go right here instead. And we cover up that. I feel like that would be a little bit better. Maybe we could do one more right here. Give it just a little bit of extra height on that side. Boom, 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 boom. All of these in place. We just need some leaves around the uh, chimney and then we're pretty much done again. For real. For real, for real. There we go. Let's take a little free cam, see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks much better. I just need to fix up maybe the leaves a little bit. Actually, I think those should be okay. I think that looks a lot better than how we had it before. It just, I think the chimneys, because the roof was so tall, the chimneys looked a little bit too short. Now they look a little bit more in place here. Yeah, I think that's awesome. But yeah, I guess with all of that, we're pretty much done with this build. I had so much fun today. So let me know how you enjoyed this episode, especially the Terralith mod. I want to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions on it. I thought it was a ton of fun exploring it with you all today, and it was a really fun challenge to build in, so I would definitely love to try it out again. So with that, thank you all so much for coming along on this journey with me today. It was such a blast. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!